Hi everyone, this is Dom Designs here. I have been getting a lot of requests from my followers on how I color my artworks using highlights and shadows. So in today's video, I'll show you just that. Also, stick around until the end of the video, I have a little trick I want to show you. So let's get to it. If this is your first time on my channel and you're interested in Adobe Illustrator tutorials and process videos, then please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. As you can see here, I have drawn two balls with light sources coming from two different angles. The ball on the left has a light source coming from the left side. This causes our ball to have its highlight be on the top of the left side. It also means that the shadow area will be on the right side of the ball. So let's recreate these. Let's create a new document at 1920 by 1080p resolution and then click create. I'll rename our initial layer to Outline. Then create a second layer and drag it below the Outline layer and name it Color. Our color will always be behind our stroke outline. Let's give our stroke a 13 points thickness, remove the white fill and keep the black stroke. Using the ellipse tool and holding down Option plus Shift on your keyboard, in the center of the artboard, we create a perfect circle. Next up, let's determine where our light source will be coming from. I'll draw using dashed strokes, two lines coming from the left side of our page. Our next step will be to add our mid-tone color, which is our main object color. We want to make sure that the color is behind our ball. So select the circle we created, go to the edit menu at the top and click on copy. Then go back to the edit menu and click paste to back. Now we duplicated our circle right on top of our original one. Going to our layer name, let's select the little blue square and drag it down to the color layer. Now we have two circles on two different layers. We're now ready to add our color. I'll select the circle on our color layer and invert the stroke to fill. Using our DOM Designs color palette, I'll give the ball a nice vibrant purple. We have already determined our light source which is coming from the left, so let's draw in our highlight. I'll select our purple circle and do a copy and paste in front. Then. I'll reduce the circle a little bit and remove the purple fill for a white stroke. Let's give the stroke a thickness of 30 points. I'll then use our direct selection tool to delete these two points from our circle. Now we could see a highlight. Then I'll go to our side menu and use the width tool to increase the thickness of the middle part of the white stroke. Let's turn the stroke into an object by going to our object menu Go to Path and Outline Stroke. Now that our highlight is a shape, let's bring down its opacity to 35%. Now that we have our highlight, it's time to create a shadow. The shadow will be cast on the lower right side of the ball. So let's select our purple circle and do a copy and paste to front twice. This will leave us with three superimposed circles. Now let's move our top circle towards the upper left side of the ball. Going to our menu on the left, we will select the Shape Builder tool. We will then delete, holding Option on your keyboard, these shapes. This will leave us with a piece of the circle on the bottom part. Now is the time to add the shadow color. Many illustrators like to use the color black and dim them down the opacity, but I'm not much of a fan of this look. I find that it removes saturation from our illustration. What I like to do is use a darker purple and then bring down the opacity like so. This allows the illustration to maintain its level of saturation. Finally, the ball must cast a shadow. So naturally, the shadow will be cast more towards the right side of the ball. Using the same dark purple, we will then dim down the opacity to give its effect. And there it is. This is how I draw a ball in Adobe Illustrator with a light coming from the left hand side. Now let's say your light was coming from directly on top of the ball. Well, you follow the same rules. 
Let's duplicate our ball and remove its shadow and highlight and determine where exactly our new light source will be coming from. In this scenario, there will be a highlight directly at the top center part of the ball. For this case, I'll draw a white ellipse and dim down the opacity. Finally, for the shadow, I'll use the same technique I used on the ball by copying and pasting to front twice and then removing the unnecessary shapes with the shape builder. I'll then use the dark purple and dim down its opacity. To end things off, the shadow will be cast directly under the circle and centered. And there you have it, this is how I create shadows and highlights in Adobe Illustrator when illustrating. Now I didn't forget that last little trick I mentioned earlier. Have you ever encountered this issue when trying to resize your illustrations? Well this happens because although you are reducing the overall size of the drawing, the stroke thickness does not adapt to its new size. So it ended up being way too thick. Same could be said when increasing the size of your drawings. What you can do when your illustration is complete is to go to your illustrator menu at the top and click on preferences. There you will see the option Scale Strokes and Effects and click on it. Now when resizing your illustration, the stroke will also adapt to its new size and maintain its fidelity. And there you have it everyone. I hope this video was helpful and if it was, please leave a thumbs up. You have no idea how much this helps the channel grow and it will be greatly appreciated. I hope to see you in the next video and cheers everyone.